Have you ever had the weather stripping on your car window look like it's being sucked into a black hole? Or hear the window struggling to roll back up? I'll show you not only what is causing this to happen, but how to replace it yourself for about 10 bucks. Just FYI, this vehicle is a 2011 Toyota Corolla. And the first thing I'm going to do is clean the window with my favorite window cleaner. I love this one because it foams up and it doesn't leave any residue behind. Use a clean microfiber towel or even newspaper to get a clean streak free window. In my case, I have a bunch of glue residue that came off the weather stripping. If you have any type of foreign material on a glass window, get yourself a razor blade like this and spray the area with some glass cleaner or at least some warm soapy water. Now a little backstory, this is my mother-in-law's car and she used to have tint on her window. One day she was trying to roll her window up and the window struggled to rise and she was left with a bunch of glue residue on the glass. She would clean the glue off but it would keep coming back, so she decided to call me. I actually removed all the tint with a heat gun, a razor, and some patience. It was too late in the evening to record it and I apologize, but I think I'll have another opportunity to remove tint on my son's car in the future. And I just decided to clean the outside window for good measure. Now with the window rolled down, this is the weather stripping that has given us the issue and I'll show you in a moment what it looks like. Here I have a brand new secondhand weather stripping that I got from the junkyard for $10 and change. This is what it looks like and I'll show you how to install it. Real simple. First let's open our door and we will remove two screws here and here. I know the vehicle doesn't look very tidy, but that was done on purpose to make another video on how to detail a car. Alright, go ahead and pop this little cap off. I'm using a pick, but you can use a screwdriver. Remove the Phillips screw inside and it may be a little difficult to remove due to the limited space in my gargantuan hands. Next up, go to the door handle and use a pick or screwdriver to pry the cover off. You can also get your hands on a panel removal toolkit, which protects your car from damage. I'll leave a link in the description. Right behind the door handle is where another Phillips screw is located. Go ahead and remove that screw as well. Put the screw somewhere safe so you won't lose them. Next go to the top right corner of the door and simply pull back the cover that houses the tweeter speaker. You don't have to unplug anything, just let it get some air while we work. Now get your fingers between the plastic door panel and the weather stripping and carefully pull it towards you. You will hear it dislodge. Here I'm showing you the small connector that connects the panel to the door frame. Here's the hole that it goes into when you're ready to put the panel back in place so you can line everything up. Now pull the door panel back a tad and lift up the weather stripping. It's only held on by friction, no glue. Just keep lifting it up all the way down the length of the door. Use caution if you plan on reusing this because it bends very easily in half. Now here's what's causing the window to struggle rolling up and the weather stripping to get sucked in. This weather stripping is supposed to have a felt layer on it to let the window move freely with very little friction. It appears that it has broken down over time, leaving the glue and bare rubber to be exposed, causing the issues that we're having right now. Here's our replacement weather stripping and as you can tell, the felt layer is completely intact. This should work perfectly. Before we install it, this is the groove that we are going to use to slide the stripping back into place along this part of the door right here. Pull the door panel back a bit and start from the area closest to the tweeter speaker. Line it up on the groove and give it a moderate push down. Once it's seated down in the groove, line up your connector from the inside of the door panel and give it a couple of hits to snap it back in. Same for the other side. Before placing the speaker cover back in, locate the small cavity and line it up with this part right here. Snap it back into place. Place your screw back in and snap the cover back on. Place the last screw back under the door handle and don't forget the cover plate. Push it in until you hear that snap. Here's a quick funky cold Medina tip. In order for your windows to stay rolling up and down smoothly, get some white lithium grease, again not sponsored, spray it in the inside groove where the window slides up and down, do it to both sides and clean up any excess spray. Roll up the windows a few times to work that grease down the track, and it looks like we fixed it. You know you have to keep the mother-in-law happy. If she's not happy, she gets snappy. Here's a sneak peek on the next video where I'll show you how to tint a window and go from this to this. Thank you all for watching. I'll leave you with a couple of videos I think you'll enjoy. I'll see you on the next video, and as always, have a blessed day.